I hired a running coach for $5 to train me for 30 days. I'll be running a mile at the beginning and at the end of the 30 days and see how much faster or slower I am. Let's get it going with day one of Dennis's training and we're at the track to get a mile time trial baseline. I'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up and then we'll get immediately into this mile. I did a little mile warm up at eight flat pace and was ready to go. Feel pretty good, feel loose, it's just cold. Here it goes nothing, all out mile. This is me without any of Dennis's training. Here we go. And the mile baseline time trial is off. I haven't ran a hard mile like this in over a year and my legs instantly felt it. I didn't really have a goal for this, but I was guessing I'd probably run about a 510. The key thing is that I haven't ran a track workout in months, but Dennis, my coach, was about to change that. So now I'm heading into the final lap feeling gassed and I finished up the mile in a 513. That was truly miserable. I ran a 513. Now Dennis has the next 30 days to make me as fast as possible and get as far down from a 513 as possible. Day two of Dennis's training, easy run after the mile. Just gonna run 12 kilometers, it's like seven miles. So let's hit it. My legs were feeling pretty good after the mile, but it was so cold outside. Feels like four degrees outside today, which is crazy. So I live in Texas, still out here hitting the miles. Second day of training, can't let Dennis down. I ran a nice seven miles at just under eight flat pace and was feeling good. Day two of Dennis's training done. We move on and we move up. Let's go. Day three of Dennis's training now. I'm back on the track again. I have a bit of a mini workout. Basically, I have 6K at four minutes per kilometer, which is like 626 a mile. So faster than easy run pace, a decent effort. And then two kilometers at 100 on, 100 off. So all in all, pretty chill workout. I was able to crush the 6K at about 615 pace. If they got my sprints in, so I'd be able to run a fast mile in 25 days. Back at the track, day four, four days in a row at the track. Dennis has a thing for workouts, I guess. Today, it's gonna be a bit of a sprint workout following the more distance or in it workout from yesterday 600 500 400 300 200 repeat it three times i'm a little uncertain about how my legs will feel but hey man gotta put trust in dennis gonna warm up and then get the workout i hit the warm-up but my legs were hurting already after that warm-up i'm feeling pretty garbage workout yesterday i had feel it in the legs but now we have a speed workout to do and we gotta crush it stick to the training but man my legs hurt my achilles on fire. Basically, my legs were too dead. I cut the workout short. The legs were way too shot, way too flat. I only did two of the three reps, and even two was so difficult. My legs had zero turnover. I'm mean, gonna tell Dennis that hopefully he makes it so I don't have back to back workouts on the track anymore because this is just deadly. My legs feel like actual rocks. But that's day four wrapped. See you for day five. It is day number six of Dennis's training, and guess what? We're back at the track for another workout. I've done more workouts in the last week than I've done in probably the last five months, but I guess it's getting me in shape to run a fast mile. Today's like a mixed workout. It has a mile, it has 1,000 repeats, it has some sprint repeats, it has everything that I guess you need to run a fast mile. My trust in Dennis, is high, but I've got to stick to the track. I'm not going to lie. I hit an easy 554 mile to start and then ran my thousands at 325. Just got done with the three by thousand and the 90 seconds rest was so deadly. Plus I was running a little bit too fast. Now we're on to the sprint part. After that, it was sprints with basically the same rest and I crushed these reps, getting comfortable running five flat pace. Cold, rainy day today. Day seven of Dennis's training and we have a long run today. Only 10 10 miles, but I feel like it's gonna feel like a lot after that workout. So it's probably gonna be pretty slow. All right, let's get it. You guys might notice a common theme here. Lots of intense days. Three workouts, a long run, and a time trial all in the first week. Well, that ended up being a heavy progression. Seven flat overall, which seems pretty fast after the workout yesterday. Last mile, 609. I'm a little bit worried of where it's gonna leave us for next week, but hopefully Dennis has some built-in easy days. One week down, baby. Three to go until the mile time trial. Things are going really good right now, but that is about to change. But first, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN isn't just a VPN that allows you to watch Netflix in different countries. 
though that is great. Dennis is in Greece, but with NordVPN, I could watch the same shows as him. On top of that, NordVPN has threat protection, which helps keep you safe from malware and ads. It has you covered 24 seven, even if you're not connected to the VPN. Even more, Nord will never share or track what you do online. All in all, Nord is just a much safer way to browse and play online. It's infinitely safer than attempting three workouts per week, that's for sure. If you get the NordVPN two year plan, you get four months for completely free. Just click the link in the description below. And even better, it's all completely risk free thanks to Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. And now on to day eight of Dennis's training. Day eight of training today, came down with a little cold randomly. I from running the rain yesterday, but feeling bad, gonna skip the run today. Day nine, I'm still feeling a little bit sick, but I'm feeling better. So hopefully I'll be able to come back tomorrow and get back on schedule. Sickness always sucks. It's just something to work around. Two days off, hopefully that's all. Hopefully I feel 100% tomorrow and then we can continue to crush Dennis's workouts. Day 10 of Dennis's training, I'm finally back. I have a nice easy seven miles today before a grueling workout tomorrow and then some strides at the end. It always sucks to get sick, but luckily I was able to come back here after two days and hit a nice seven miles at 723 pace. So it's day 11 of Dennis's training. I'm at the track and I'm actually gonna be doing something different than Dennis's training just because I have other videos to film. So we're doing Kipchoge's workout. You guys have already seen this on the channel. I'll give a quick 10, 15 second montage of this. Basically, I ran 13 by 1000. It was a killer workout, but a fun video. And the only time I deviated from Dennis's training. It's day 12 of Dennis's training. I'm feeling just gassed after that workout yesterday. We're gonna hit some miles and then recover because I have a race Sunday. This was a ridiculously easy four mile run and I really needed it. All the workouts were catching up to me and I needed to be feeling good for my 10K race in two days. Day 13 of Dennis's training and I actually have a race tomorrow for a video you've already seen. Can I go from last to first place in a race? So I'm just running an easy three miles with strides so it'll be like four miles easiest day Dennis has given me thus far so I'm almost glad for the race tomorrow this was pretty standard meat prep I ran a flat pace and then picked it up for some strides at the end my speed's definitely improving since the base mile time trial. Four miles in for the easy ride with strides. Strides have me gas at the end. That's day 13 done. We're almost at the two week mark and we'll have a nice test tomorrow. See how much endurance we've gained. The whole point of the race was to go from last to first. So I walked the first 400 meters. However, afterwards, I had a good six mile test of how fast I could run. And to my surprise, I was able to hold six flat pace the entire time, which meant I was definitely improving. Improving. Day 15 of Dennis training post race yesterday. Just an easy seven miles with some strides. Take it easy, recover before yet another workout tomorrow. These workouts just keep stacking, man. But halfway through, I think we're getting fit because of it. I was super encouraged by my 10K race and wasn't even too dead on this easy run. Nice seven miles at 7.43. So I'm back at the track yet again. This is probably like my sixth or seventh workout under Dennis and they just keep coming. Today, it's gonna be a pure sprint workout. We're running 400s, 300s, trying to get to that mile pace. Legs are still a little dead from the race, but it's day 16 now. We hit 12 by 400, averaging about 78, which was my mile pace from the time trial. 78s were feeling easy, and then I dominated the 300s at the end, running under 430 mile pace. It's like day 18, and you guys will never guess where we are the track. We have yet another workout to do on the track, but low key these workouts are getting me fit. Today's workout will be a good test though, because I'm running a thousand meters at basically the pace I ran that mile time trial at two and a half weeks ago. So it'll be interesting to see if that's easier than it was at the time and how good it feels to see what my current mile shape is. And then after the thousand, we have some sprints and stuff, get the speed up. This was the workout where I realized I was primed to run fast. I ran my 1000 in 302, which is 450 52 mile base. At this point, I really started to believe a sub five was possible. Day 19, it's just gonna be a nice, easy run from my apartment. I desperately need this after all the workouts. 
I've been doing, and I have yet another workout tomorrow with a long run on Sunday. We're getting awfully close to this mile, and low-key, I'm excited for the taper because my legs are getting worked. We're looking like we're gonna run pretty fast. But let's just take it easy today. At this point, the training was starting to catch up to me. Dennis was having me do three workouts a week, and my Achilles really started to ache. I was getting fit for sure, but if I got fully injured, what was the point of all the training? It's day 22 under Dennis. Dennis, gonna hit some treadmill miles. Super easy day. And this whole week should be relatively easy because the mile is in six days. The easy day saved my Achilles. And the next two days were chill on the treadmill. We're finally here, the last day before I run the mile time trial and see how much I had proved. Achilles has been hurting the last week. It has really been hurting. I've Take your run slower than I should have. I don't want to overdo it. Today is super basic. Three miles and then strides. All of the hay was in the barn. It was just a matter of my Achilles not snapping at this point. This was an easy three miles at eight flat, prepping for the final mile tomorrow. Well, guys, 30 days in and it ends exactly where it began with an all out mile on the track. 30 days has led up to this moment right here. We'll see how good Dennis's training is. I feel confident about BD 513. It's just if my Achilles Achilles holds together. I was definitely nervous as I put on the alpha flies and was excited to see what I could throw down after 30 days. How much faster does a $5 coach make you after training for 30 days? All out mile, baby. I begin the mile and I'm feeling pretty confident. I remember that 302,000 I ran at the beginning of my workout two weeks ago. My first lap is 70 seconds and I'm absolutely flying. I think up through the 800 and 223 on pace to be well under five minutes and then it's the final lap i give it everything i have and finish the mile in a crazy 4.54. That is the GOAT. He might have got me slightly injured, but he also improved my time 20 seconds. Let's go. 